Gord has come a long way because I know what his family background was like and he is, he's, his, the military and the cadets did a lot for that man, a lot. Meet Gordon Keener, an Aboriginal veteran who served as a peacekeeper in the Canadian military for nine years through the 1980s. During that time, Keener grew as an individual and learned leadership skills which he uses regularly now for the Hutsul First Nations. I'm now a treaty manager. I'm also the assistant negotiator at a, at a treaty table. And I seem to get myself into these positions of authority, like on boards and stuff. Now I've just joined another board, and in the first meeting I ended up being the vice president of the board now. It wasn't always that way. Growing up in Williams Lake, Keener spent much of his youth in the cadets, unsure of what he wanted to do. Going back to the beginning and stuff, like, I mean, I, before I even joined the military, I was kind of left high school and stuff. I tried to take correspondence, that didn't work. I started driving truck part-time. Uh, I joined uh, the Canadian military, asked my mother about it, and she didn't want nothing to do with it, so I waited another year and, signed it and joined on my own. Then let her know about it after I'd already signed. They were not wealthy people. They worked hard all their lives. He has taken what he has been given with the mil from the military to allow himself to grow, to let himself to grow. His service was during a time of budget cuts and peacekeeping, which made things quite a little interesting. We were driving trucks, two, uh, two and a half ton trucks from the 60s. We went to Yakima Firing Center in Washington State to do uh, machine gun training and had the old two and a half ton trucks that could not get up these hills really fast. And the carburetor broke down on one of them. So we went actually to the military museum in Yakima Firing Center and took a carburetor from one of the trucks display in the stairs so we could get our trucks working. All that training took Keener around the world, including a stint in Cyprus, where he served mainly as an ambulance driver. A period of time in his life that was full of... Times of extreme boredom and fun, with uh, times of intense stress. Our, our rules of engagement are totally different than what they had in the former Yugoslavia or currently in the combat in Afghanistan. We're there as peacekeepers, and we're not allowed to return fire unless we're directly fired upon. Yeah, we are not allowed to have loaded weapons. So yeah, if you're going to get shot or shot at, you have to take your magazine out of your pocket and put it on your weapon before you can actually return fire. His time in the military was an adventure he'd never trade, and it's something he recommends. So I, I think that if it wasn't for the military, I wouldn't have gained those skills to advance myself or that self-discipline to carry through. Well, people are not really sure in their path, should try to experience it. His mind is always moving, and you know, he's, you can tell that he's, got a he's a mediator and he's a negotiator because he's usually one step ahead of you. He always knows where you're going. <laughs> For We Remember on Shaw, I'm Jonathan Horst. I need a